For the past few weeks, everyone have been experiencing issues with running Stable Diffusion on Google Colab. Even paid users face constant runtime disconnection while running Stable Diffusion. In order to address this issue, I have come up with an alternative similar to Google Colab where you can run any custom Stable Diffusion model in the most easiest way possible. I am certain that there is no easier notebook than the one I am going to show you, which would allow you to run any Stable Diffusion model using the CBTI link. This video would be helpful to all of you who had difficulty running the Stable Diffusion locally or doesn't have enough GB or computation power. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future interesting and informative videos on AI. Make sure to watch the entire video before trying out this tool because you might need to keep few points in mind. So when you open the link, you will be taken to the AWS SageMaker site. Create a new account if you haven't already. There is also one additional account you need to create which I will discuss in few minutes time. So once you created a new account in SageMaker, select the GPU radio button and click on open project. Then solve this puzzle where you click the final destination of the car would be. One thing I had mentioned that you would get a total of 4 hours of GPU and 8 hours of CPU per day. In our case we only need GPU. As the demand for the SageMaker is very high. You may have to spam the open project button couple of times and once you get success, it would show you like this. Then come back to the video and open the notebook link from below. Also note, if you get this error, you need to allow javascript download for awsaf.com in your browser settings. If you are using Chrome, go to settings, then privacy and security and then site settings, javascript and then add site and type just like it's shown on the screen. It would take you to this notebook. It would ask you for this prompt, click copy notebook early. Then once a notebook is loaded, if you are running for the very first time, run the step 1 cell. You can run any cell by clicking the play button on the top. Keep in mind, you don't need to run this cell if you had run the notebook already. If you ran into some errors, you may use this cell to clean up the memory. But if you are going to open it for the second time, you can directly proceed to step 2. Click on the Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab on the top left corner and then Click on Restart Jupyter Notebook. If this prompt is displayed, click Save. It would take few seconds then you can continue to step 2. Hold on a second before you execute the cell on step 3. On step 3, there are various clone links of top 10 realistic stable diffusion models already given here. If you want to use any model from the same list, you should uncomment the line by removing the hash from the start of the line. If you want to introduce any new list, you can also paste the new CVTA link here. Make sure you don't uncomment more than 3 models at a time because cloning too much models at a time can cause memory issues. Then execute the step 3 cells. Once step 3 is completed, you, if you haven't already, you may need to create a new account in a site called ngrock. From there, you need to get a new authentication token or auth token. Once you sign up to ngrock, navigate to your auth token tab on the left and click on copy. Once copied, come back to the SageMaker page, paste your new auth token in the place of paste your token here. Don't use this token as it's mine. There should be at least one space before and after your ngrock token. Once that is done, just run the step 4 cells and wait for a few minutes. Your Gradio link would show up and you can use that enjoy to create AI images you are liking. You can use the step 5 in the notebook to save but I would highly recommend to download your output at the same time of generation. If you like this video or have any queries, let me know in the comments and also subscribe to my channel for future videos. I am also making a new video on how to use LoRa to this notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.